No, uh, in Singapore, uh, husbands or former husbands can claim for maintenance if they can show that they are incapacitated during the marriage. When we're talking about incapacitation, the husband or former husband simply needs to show that he's physically or mentally incapacitated during the marriage. If he's not able to show that, then he's not able to claim for maintenance. And only former wives can claim for maintenance pursuant to divorce proceedings. It applies to both women and men. There is gender equality in Hong Kong system. So as long as you are a financially weaker party, you are entitled to claim maintenance from the spouse. In Singapore, the court will look at various factors in its assessment of uh, the quantum of maintenance uh, to award. I think it's important to understand that the rational for awarding spousal maintenance in Singapore is to even out the financial inequalities that the former wife would have suffered during the marriage. So in looking at the various factors which a court would take into consideration, the court would look at the income of the respective parties, their expenses, it would also look at the age of the parties as well as the length of the marriage, as well as uh, contributions which the parties may have made during the marriage. As a final point too, if uh, any or, or both parties have any physical or mental uh, needs or disabilities, this would also be taken into consideration by the court. The Hong Kong position is actually similar to Singapore, but there could be a misconception in the society that only men will need to pay for the maintenance of female. Actually, this is not true. Uh, if the woman is in a financially stronger position, there is a possibility that the woman also needs to pay for the man. The fact that there are children to the marriage would not in and of itself affect the quantum of the spousal maintenance and the reason being that uh, of course uh, the issue of providing for the children's reasonable expenses would be dealt with and met with maintenance for the children. However, the court does uh, uh, assess uh, a party's contributions to the marriage which is made during that marriage and so uh, insofar as we are talking about uh, caregiving abilities of uh, a parent that would be taken into consideration by the court. The consideration for spousal maintenance and children maintenance is different. These days in Hong Kong, the court is actually encouraging a clean break settlement if at all possible. However, if there are very young children and the spouse is not able to return to the workforce, the court will still consider ongoing spousal maintenance.